The main focus of my practice is uh, hip preservation surgery, which encompasses the management of uh, hip pain and hip conditions in pediatric, adolescent, and young adult patients. Hip preservation surgery is a discipline within orthopedics that is focused on uh, treating anatomical problems and pain in, in patients that have pre-arthritic conditions. Uh, they have either developmental uh, problems or congenital conditions or post-traumatic deformities or a variety of conditions that have led to a mismatch between the ball and the socket. And the goal of hip preservation surgery is to restore anatomy, to allow restoration of function and the alleviation of pain, to hopefully change the natural history and prevent them from going on to develop osteoarthritis and need hip replacements. Here at Montefiore, we have a pediatric, adolescent, and young adult hip preservation program, which focuses on treating uh, hip dysplasia and femoral acetabular impingement, the two major conditions that are treated uh, or affecting people that need hip preservation surgery. Um, we use a multidisciplinary approach in terms of our workup and management of patients to figure out exactly what their underlying anatomical problems are and to figure out what exactly the best approach will be, both operative and non-operative. Um, some patients require hip arthroscopy, uh, some patients require surgical hip dislocation, and other patients require periacetabular osteotomy, which is a specialized procedure that allows for reorientation of the acetabulum to correct underlying hip dysplasia. Hip preservation surgery treats primarily two conditions. One of them is hip dysplasia, where there is the socket is not fully formed and does not cover the femoral head and so the ball is left uncovered and this predisposes to the risk of arthritis. The second condition is called femoral acetabular impingement, or FAI. FAI is not a disease per se, but is, is an anatomical abnormality about the, the hip joint that uh, leads to mismatch between the ball and the socket, um, where either the ball is not fully round or the socket is, is too deep or a combination of the both. And so there are a number of conditions that lead to this femoral acetabular impingement, and so our work is to address those anatomical problems to restore normal anatomy and to restore congruency about the hip so that uh, we stop the process of osteoarthritis from setting in. Okay. Young adults present to us with pain and it's usually activity related pain. It's usually something that occurs in their groin and so the concept of impingement and dysplasia is that they're going to lead to arthritis. And so if we're able to identify these anatomical differences and intervene to correct them, hopefully we could prevent the cascade that will ultimately lead to arthritis and the need for a hip replacement. Childhood obesity has a profound effect on the musculoskeletal system. And there are a few conditions in particular that we are seeing as a direct result of this epidemic. Slips capital femoral epiphysis is a condition that affects the hip where there is displacement of the femoral head through the growth plate. Um, and we are seeing an increase in, in the number of patients that have this condition and the number of times we're having to intervene for it. We also see patients who have uh, Blount's disease or adolescent tibia varia, which is bowing of the lower extremities, which is a direct result of obesity. Um, and our uh, techniques and what we are using to address these deformities uh, is something that we continue to expand upon and something we do every day. Here in the Bronx, we've seen an increased prevalence of a number of conditions uh, secondary to obesity. We see an increased prevalence of slip capital femoral epiphysis, which affects the hip. We're seeing an increase in tibia vera, or bowing of the lower extremities, in uh, young children as well as in teenagers and adolescents because of their obesity. We're also seeing an increase in sports-related injuries, knee injuries, hip injuries, a whole variety of them because of the increased participation of children and adolescents in organized sports and at a younger age. 